Yo, what is going on guys? Your voice is here to bring you guys day three uh, or out of three tutorial on how to make a white banner style. This is the last tutorial day on this is just doing our render, you know, our banner setup, per like period, you know? So I really didn't do anything to the render at all. I didn't even shrink it at all. I just really dragged it in from our day two and I dragged it right into the banner along with the same exact CC. So here we're going to go right now straight off the bat. Uh, I'm using my white Asusa pack as my reference to... Uh, a white pack, you know, there's probably a lot more packs out there, but this was not free. Uh, you can see, thanks for purchasing. This is in my store for eight dollars. Probably one of my most sell things in my store. Uh, so, anyways, we're gonna be using this pack. So we're gonna get going right away. Uh, I'm gonna talk about lighting really quick. What I'm gonna do is make a layer right over my, you know, render. Just make a new layer. And if I go to my brush and I just hit it one time, literally doesn't matter what any color. What do you mean? You just can't be like white. Like do a color. It doesn't really matter what color though, because you have the gradient overlay on the CC, so it just doesn't change the color at all. It keeps all that nice blue. So anyways, what I do with uh, this you know, new layer that we have here is just lower my opacity when I hit the brush like halfway. You can see I did like right here. And I just lower my opacity like so. And you can see it kind of like has like a light on the top and this is what lighting is. Uh, you know, lighting is like kind of playing with, you know, it really it's really hard to do on black banners because you have that that black that you, know, you can actually show it more but the white contrast is like the shadow it out, like shows it a little bit less than a would well a lot more less than a black banner what you can see right away let me just show you the the difference uh, you can see how that you know this is what I mean you know it's really hard to actually do blending with or lighting with the black banner because like you have all these gradients you have to fix and everything and mess around with you don't want to do that but with white banners is so much more easier and so much more cleaner looking also so that's what lighting is but I, sh I have stocks in my pack for this so I'm just gonna get right to it uh, there's really not more informative stuff I can say besides when you're putting packs in or when you're putting stocks in your white banner uh, Not all stocks work, but every, like every stock in this pack actually works because it's like tested for white banners That's why you know I did this previously when I like first released my white banner style and uh, You know what I'm gonna do really quick is just lower or just erase This right here Kind of want to have a little more clean looking and I'm just gonna put this on screen uh, maybe you have the stock, maybe you don't. If you don't, like I said, it's in my pack. Uh, it's probably in other people's packs too, to be honest with you. Uh, and like, I'm just gonna do lower the opacity. Just kind of like keep that nice tint going here. I'm gonna control J to duplicate it. Go to uh, my image or my edit and transitions or you know transform and rotate by 180. And this will do just flip it basically. And I'm just gonna drag it down. Kind of do the same exact effect on the bottom now. And like so, I'm just lower the opacity a little bit more though. And I'm just going to use another one, which is uh, the Ocean Blue. Put that in here. Like so. Can I, can I go in there? Can I go in there? There you go. There you go. So now we're gonna just going to lower the opacity now. As soon as it comes in, there we go. Lower the opacity. Put it on screen. Lower the opacity. And like so. Kind of has a really, really blue to it, to be honest. And just lower the filter or the fill. Here we are. There we go. So yeah, that looks good so far. To be honest, you know, you can play around it more. Uh, you can play with the brush lighting more if you have if you don't have the stock, and you just mess around with the brush more. And I'm just gonna do right now, really quickly. So maybe just go like this. So I'm gonna just go like this, go like this. Put on the top half. Oops, no, on a new layer. Top half. Oop, I just took a ruler because I'm an idiot. Take the top half. Let's go for this one more time. And I'll lower the opacity. Kind of puts like that nice blue on the top. Just like so. There we go. And so now what we're going to do is just basically start adding stocks. I don't do this in any... Oh, you have to do this first. You have to do that first. No, I'm just going to add my favorite stocks. And that's basically all I'm going to do. So right away I'm going to add the C2 Rocks. You know, this is in their pack. Um, but I found it solely. So I thought it was fair enough if I can use it. Uh, from Divinity... Div not Divinity. Devotion Arts like channel. Free to use stocks and stuff like that. Now that's where I found this, so we're just going to like throw this in the back now. And, uh, boom, boom. Lower the opacity. Like so, there we go. Kind of, you can kind of see the rocks. Um, all I can really say with blending and white banners, I don't know if I said this in the beginning, is just lower the opacity. Not like 10 and be like, yo, Seso, I lowered it, but, you know, no, 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 no. Does this look good? I'm going to be like, no, you didn't lower the opacity. Lower it. This, this is not lowering it. You have to know the difference between, okay, I can see the stock. It's there. Now you got to blend it, though. So that's why I'm just going to lower the opacity. I'm going to blend it. Maybe you guys can't see it. Oh, I can't see it. If you look, you can see it. You have to know what detailing and stuff like that, adding the stocks right. That's why banners are like, 
you know, some say it's easy, because it really is if the mindset is right for, you know, people, if, like, their renders are clean enough and their, you know, mindset is right when they're going to banners, like, it is a little bit of opacity, and you, you're basically a god at Photoshop banners. So, right away, now I'm just going to add another stock, which will be the Dust uh, from C2 also, to be honest, this guy is the best, if you don't know who CT is, probably the one, the best white banner style artist in our community. And I'm just going to, like, lower the opacity right as soon as I alt-drag this, which is copying it. And boom, boom, boom. And screen. Actually, no, I'm going to keep it on normal. And then I'm going to lower the opacity. There we go. <clears throat> you can kind of see the effect going now. If I uncheck and check, you'll be able to see it. So if I uncheck, it's, like, really laggy right now. I don't know why. And if I check it, and then you can see it'll pop up in a second. There we go. You can kind of see it now overlaying on the rocks of the first one we put in. Um, so now I'm just going to add, you know, the under or most used thing in the universe, which is the paint splatter. Uh, if you really like it, to be honest, you really can't say don't use it. Like, I know it's really overdone and probably the most oldest things you can ever use in banners, but I like it, so I'm going to put it on because I really can care less, to be honest. Okay. Here we go. It's going to place it nice and close to the render. And then I'm just going to go ahead and control E to merge them. And then just lower the opacity. Just enough so I can see it nice and blended in. And there we go. That's that's basically what I want to do. And uh, what I'm going to do now is going to find some grunge, which is my favorite one is right here. I'm going to throw this in the back, which kind of like gives the texture of the white and uh, blend in some a little bit more. So I'm just going to take a grunge. I'll drag to duplicate, boom, 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 boom. Control E, lower the opacity. Kind of put that nice grunge on. You can see that in the background if you look. And uh, what I'm going to do now is just go to my particles. It's like particles is the most used thing ever. Like, I'm so glad they brought lens flares to banners because it looks so, so good. And if you don't use them, they really do look really nice. So it's not like it's overused because you really can't overuse particles. Unless you're insanely like using on a black banner or something, but we're on white banners. They really don't show too much. That's why they look so good. And I'm just gonna take this. You know, I don't like that. I'm gonna take this one. And I'm gonna throw this on this one. I'll put it on top. I'm putting it on top of everything because I like particles on top of everything. All drag to duplicate. Duplicate. Boom. 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 Then I'm Control E it. Put it back on screen. And I'm gonna lower the opacity just a little bit. Was it on screen or was it on light? I think it was on light, and that's why it looked like that. Yeah, there we go. Light is what you got to use particles on. It looks really best that way on most of my opinion, to be honest. Lower the filter or the fill. And there we go. Uh, maybe a little bit more. All right. So now, basically, particles are done. Uh, stocks. Like I said, you can use any of these stocks. I have favorites. You know, I have least favorites, obviously. Uh, I got to lower that. I got to get rid of that. There we go. So now... I'm going to add, I can add that, but I don't want to, I can add a lot of things, but I don't really want to, I'll add this, you know, probably the most, almost overused stock ever also, but uh, if I use it right, you know, let's see, put it below my render, put everything behind your render, uh, that's what I usually used to say, but you know, some things really do look good on the top, which is like the filter, not the, not the filter, the, the um, particles look really nice on the top of the render, but most of the stuff you want to put in the back, I'm just going to put this on lighten. All right, not light in screen. Yeah, it looks better that way. There we go. Kind of have these little lights in the back. There we are. And then I'll just, you know, I can add more stuff, but I really don't want to add too much stuff, you know? I want to keep white banners clean. That's how they should be. And uh, basically, that's it. So what I'm going to do now is just finalization, just add, add a nice blur to it. So I'm going to click on the top, top layer, the top layer that I did with all my stocks. I'm going to scroll all the way down to here. I'm going to right, uh, hold shift and click on the, like, the, base, the base layer, which is the color. And if I press Control J, this will duplicate everything. I'll just press Control E right away. It'll take a copy of it. It'll just like basically this is the copy of the banner itself all in one. So if I go to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur, keep it on two percent, and then I just lower the opacity. You can see right away, right right away. This is probably how you say like how do I make my banners look more clean? Uh, how do I make a more you know better quality? You can see right away. There we go. That's how I did it. You know it looks really really nice. You know particles like is a blessing. This is a blessing for the particles. If I uncheck and check, you can see the difference. So I unchecked it right now. You gotta wait till it loads. There you go. It's all different now. You see how like, you know, kind of sharp it is right now. But if I put the blur on, it kind of smoothens the right places out and just like, like, I don't know. It just really looks really good. I remember when I first found this, I was like, oh my god, I'm gonna be a beast now. And I so yeah. 
But that's it, guys. That's really our white banner style. Uh, how I really did mine, you can see on my port. You know, I just used a different red, obviously, and I just probably duplicated the render a little bit on the back. But this is like out of style. You don't really do that too much now. Uh, if anything, if you want to do that, you duplicate the render and then you add a Gaussian blur to it, just make it a little bit more bigger and then lower the opacity if you want to do that. But I don't really like doing anything else besides like, you know, adding finalization. So if you want to like add the distort, I don't know if how distort is going to look. I want to actually just figure that out really quick. Distort, displace, 10, and then click on that. I want to see what this would look like, to be honest. Really, really badly. What, what does this look like? Is it going to show? I think I just like... Oh, there you go. Okay. How would this look? I'm just going to lower the opacity. How would this look? How would this look? How would this look? Watch it look like totally horrendous. Uh, really doesn't look that good at all. But anyways, you know, I'm basically done. Uh, the things that you take from this uh, is really... Lower your opacity just enough so you can see them. That's what you have that mentality going to banners. I swear they'll be so much better. And have really nice CCs. You want to correspond with the style. You don't want to use any other person's CC. You really want to make your own CC. It's probably the most biggest thing. Uh, unless you're like going for like almost the same exact style as a person. Obviously, you can use their CC. That's whatever. I'll make sure you have the permission, though. Uh, but I have the giveaway of this CC. So if you want to go get that from day two, it's in the description in day two's. Uh, so anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If we get 40 likes on this, and thank you guys so much for watching this series, uh, all the dedicated people for the White Banner styles. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this and it helped a lot, like, helped a lot. Or even if it helped a little bit, as long as you got something from this, I'm happy. So I'll see you guys later. Let's switch you out.